the standard climate model, if you like, doesn't simulate eustrophic turbulence. It's, it's, it's eddies and vortices in the ocean. What we specialise in here is, is trying to resolve those particular features and understanding how they affect ocean processes. We know that only a third of Australians with a mental illness receive professional help. We really have to do something about that. Moojim was the first evidence-based online program to provide self-help for depression. What I've invented was a simple process to make high-powered lenses. Having this microscopy tool allows um, health workers to be able to take images at remote sites and transfer it through the internet to um, doctors elsewhere. In this particular butterfly, the wing is always green to camouflage it, and the green colour is actually produced by this structure. It's not produced by pigment, it's produced by the structure of the hard stuff in the wing. I study past climates as a way to understand the climate changes that we're seeing now. I've been working particularly looking at the winds going around the Southern Ocean and how they're changing with rising greenhouse gas levels. We work with biomaterials and they have applications in radiotherapy of cancer patients. It's a type of internal radiotherapy and so we work with uh, medical devices like microspheres that we attach radioisotopes to. And those isotopes can be uh, for imaging as well as for therapy. It's quite exciting as an optical engineer and physicist is that it opens up lens fabrication technology. So no longer we are very much restricted by the lenses you buy off the shelf. What you can really do now is actually make it at home and tailor it to your purpose. Our interest in these things arose from the deep questions that arise in pure geometry and in the physics of these sorts of materials. But it turns out that like any deep scientific question, it leads to many interesting applications. Internal radiation therapy enables you to localise radiation at the actual site of a tumour. It never rests, there's always new problems. Every time you solve one problem, there's a new one to solve. And that's, that's the sort of thing I like. Working under Ken Freeman was such a privilege. Uh, he's such an amazing mentor. He really taught me the steps by which to break down a problem, approach it, uh, and solve it. That's the most important thing you can take away from a PhD experience. When I reflect on the opportunity of studying at the Australian National University, I now know how lucky I was, how blessed I am. That's what the tensor, no, that's what's going on. It, it is a place where I think you have, a, you have a, perhaps a more intense academic experience, and it's a very, very international university. That was one of the great things about ANU. You had this group of people dispersed across the university who were always willing to sit down and talk about issues. 